Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we'll be looking at this backlip PLA compatible uploaded by MasterFX. First things first, we go down to the developer notes to see if they have any specifications. And they say they used a shell of two and an info of roughly 30 to 40%. They also say they included quite a few STLs as well as a modification which is more closed to allow a higher print density, which is exactly what we want for any mechanical device. So once you're ready, click on the download all files up here. You should get a folder similar to this. And once again, we have a few STLs. So the major difference is going to be the length of them. So we have a 65 millimeter, 85 millimeter and 125 millimeter length back clip. So clearly, if you want something small, print the 65. But if you want to have a uh, big back clip for your huge bag of Doritos, then do the 125 millimeter one. And I recommend printing the more closed version rather than just the regular version. So whichever you want, whatever length, it doesn't matter. Choose one. For this video, I'm going to go for the smallest length and print a 65 millimeter one. So click and hold on the STL and drag it to your preferred slicer of choice. Once it's finished slicing, you should see the back clip right in the center of the bed. So first we're going to select the layer height. Layer height can be whatever you want. Uh, honestly, a 0.2 millimeter is going to be more than fine. So select the 0.2 millimeter layer height. And if this pops up, click on the discard button to erase all previous profile modifications. Next, we're going to go to shell and we're going to make sure that the wall line count is set to two, like developer said. Next, we're going to go to the infill. And we're going to change the infill density up to either 30 to 40 percent, or if you want, just stay in the middle and do 35 percent. That just means it's how much material is going to be inside of the actual uh, model. The more material, clearly, the stronger it'll be. So, 35 percent on that. For supports, we will not need any supports, so we're going to make sure this is unchecked. Build plate adhesion. If you take a look at the bottom of the model, there's quite a bit of contact area with the build plate, so no need for a, uh, any type of build plate adhesion. And after that, you are set. So all you have to do is click on the slice button down here, give it a few seconds to slice up. Once it is finished slicing, you should be given a time estimate of roughly 48 minutes, but that will depend on the printer you're using as well as the model you selected and your settings, and a estimated filament usage of 5 grams. So. You always preview the print and take a look around, see if anything weird or funky is going on. And everything looks perfectly normal, so all you have to do now is save the file and send it over to your printer. Here's the model straight off the build plate. You may need to free the hinges initially by pushing and pulling on the actual lever. So give it a slight gentle push until the lever can move freely. You should definitely break in the mechanism by pushing on the lever and holding the tab. And do the same thing whenever you're taking it out. And do that a few times until everything seems nice and smooth. The actual back clip is pretty impressive and does its job pretty good as you'll see here in the video. I closed these M&Ms up and then tried to spill them out by force and it wouldn't budge. One thing to keep in mind is to print the size that you want because the 65mm one is pretty small and can't close up too many things. So I recommend going for a bigger one if you're using it for back chips or anything else. 